So today I'll be showing you hip opening poses. We're gonna start off in downward dog and then move on into low lunge. Find your balance. Remember to always breathe in and out through your nose. Lift your hands up above your head and with these particular poses I suggest that you hold them each for two minutes because you are working on your opening up your hips so it requires that you hold the poses for a little longer we now move on to lizard pose try to get your elbows to touch the floor and to slightly lift your other leg hold the pose for five breaths or other two minutes breathing in and out through your nose I wanted to suggest to you guys that you take pictures because it's a great way to monitor your progress and it's a great way to motivate yourself. We now move on to figure 4 pose. You can use your hand to assist and hold the pose for 2 minutes. It's also a great way to open up your your hips and as I've already said whatever you do on one side of your body do on the other side so that both sides get equal practice time. And now we widen our legs a bit and then squat down into wide squat. This is a great pose for opening up the hips, for the opening up the groins and the hips. And it's also a great way to regulate your sexual energy. So hold the pose for two minutes, breathing in and out through your nose. We now move on to happy baby as you as the name suggests that's how kids usually or babies rather usually like to spread out their legs like that so that's exactly what you do as well breathing in and out through your nose and now we return to low lunge um this is this is the final pose for this session so find your balance lift your hands up and breathe in and out through your nose um so if you do take pictures please use the tag yoga with baiki be it on instagram or twitter so that i may be able to see them and we can get the conversation going and flowing and thank you so much guys for subscribing for your likes and your comments i really appreciate